Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, uh, April. What is today? 23rd. So yeah, it's been a few days since I've been on. Most of because life has been crazy. So uh, I got some happy mail that I want to share with you guys, and then I'm going to just talk a little. Because I want to catch up with you guys. But anyway, so I did get some happy mail. And um, I can't remember if I showed this card. I feel like I did, but I'm going to show it again. So this is an Easter card that I got in the mail. From my friend Phyllis. I'm, I'm pretty sure I showed this. But she sent this to me a while ago. So there it is. It's so cute. Lord. <laughs> cute Easter card. I'm pretty sure I showed that. And then I got an Easter card from Summer. I love getting cards from her. And actually, I had cards I was going to send out for other people for Easter. And Summer was one of them. But life was just so busy. I never did get them in the mail. <laughs> so here's the Easter card she sent me. It's really pretty. And of course, it always has stickers. So I love the stickers. It's butterflies and flowers and little cats and puppy with um, Easter ears on. So cute. And then I got a couple of packages. One was a giveaway that I won from a YouTube channel that they are 99% cross stitch. But every now and then there's a little bit of crochet in there because the mom crochets. Their names are Kim and Jade. Kim is the mom. Jade is the daughter. <laughs> And they actually live here in Tennessee, uh, fairly close to me. And um, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, I want a cross stitch pattern, which I don't cross stitch, but I'm planning on learning. And my sister, um, she cross stitches, or she used to, like, avidly <laughs> and embroidered. So I'm going to get uh, floss and stuff from her, probably when we go for Jesse's birthday. But I want this pattern from them. It's a spring pattern. And it's just pretty floral print. And it's a 5 by 7 So I think I can do that. I'm a little worried though because last time I tried cross stitching the reason I didn't stay with it is because it was so slow and I'm really fast all the time so I don't know but it might be a good way for me to chill out you know it may take me a year you know, like not years but months to finish one thing but it would be a good little side project so I won that from them and I'll link their channel down below if you want to check them out because they're really nice and they make really beautiful project bags I want to buy one eventually I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet but um, yeah so I'll link them below and then I got a, a package from Carla, her channel is called um, CJ Crochet. I'll link it below. So she's, she made a baby blanket for June and it's a quilted baby blanket. And it's so cute. It's already, it's already been washed so it's already floppy. <laughs> and we've been using it. So it's got jungle animals on it on that side and this side's got squares on it. I love it. And it looks like you hand stitch the, um, what is that called? The bias part, bias tape, is that what this is? It looks like it's hand stitched, so that's cool. But anyways, we've been using it because it's thinner than her blanket that I normally use for her at night when it was cold, and now that it's cooler, we use this at night. So I'm gonna set that there. She also sent Jesse some Legos, uh, a Lego set, but he's already, that was a few a week or so ago, so it's already somewhere. <laughs> but, uh, and then the last package I got, um, let's see here. is this the card from Carla? I think this is the card from Carla. Yeah, this is the card from Carla. It's got butterflies on it. <laughs> and then this last package that I got is from... Oh, let me get it out of here. It's stuck on there. It's from Brenda. This piece of tape. <laughs> so she sent me this card. Cardinal and a... That's an Eastern Bluebird. That's a Chickadee. And I think that's a Finch. I'm not sure if it's a Finch or not. It looks like a yellow-breasted Finch. <laughs> but inside of it was this little thing, which is used in sewing. And this is a two and a half inch one. I just recently bought, I think, a four inch one because I couldn't find the little ones. So she sent me this little one, which I appreciate a lot. That's what was taped inside that card. <laughs> and then she also made a cute set. She sent the pattern of it and it um, of the dress. The dress is called the Little Sweetie Dress and Headband by it's Red Heart. It's Inspirations. And then the booties is by Inspirations as well. And then she did mention, I think she, she mentioned, let me look, uh, yeah, she made all these, and she packaged it so well. <laughs> like, here's the little hat, it's a little turban style hat, and it's got tissue paper in it. <laughs> and then the booties, I have to put this on June and take a picture of her. The headband, and then the cute little dress. It's got tissue paper in it. I love the bottom of it. Oh, pretty so I definitely I get pictures of June in this she 
also sent the leftover yarn in case I needed it. And it is Karen Simply Soft. Uh, Viet, Viet, <laughs> Vietnam, Vietnam, I can't say that. Rose Ombre. And it's number four, I think. I don't know. <laughs> it's like an older label. Oh, yeah, four ply. It says it's four ply, which means it's twisted. It's, well, it's number three, I think. It's number three. It's pretty thin. 100% acrylic. Karen, I already said that. So that's the happy mind that I got. So thank you guys all so much for that. And Carly, the blanket's already been used. <laughs> I used it last night for her because it was really hot in her last night. But yeah, so uh, I also bought some fabric. I went to Hobby Lobby and got some fabric to make some drawstring bags uh, this coming week. Probably start working on them on Tuesday. But uh, I just picked some cute springy prints. This one's got bees. And, and I got this one. <laughs> this isn't springy, but it's mini Mickey Mouse. It's cute. And I love this one, succulents. And then I had to get this one, it's so cute. It's a bee gnomes. <laughs> and then this one was on the remnants. So it's fall colors, but it's still really pretty. And then there's this one. Lots of florals. <laughs> and this one. And then I just thought, I like this one. It's just blue. It's like a country blue with white polka dots. And then this pretty floral one. That's upside down. <laughs> and then this one was also in the remnants. Some of those were remnants. It's like a travel one. I thought that was cool. So these are all going to be drawstring bags in the shop. I'm going to shoot for... Hmm, let's see here. Maybe next weekend. Jesse's birthday party is on the 30th. His birthday is on May 1st, which is next Sunday. My birthday is the week after that. The next Saturday is the 7th of May. And the Mother's Day is the 8th of May. <laughs> um, so yeah, these these are probably... Because drawstring bags work up really quick. I can make these work on them Tuesday and Wednesday. And probably get them up Thursday or Friday <laughs> into the shop. Um, so I'll put out a video whenever they're going to go in the shop. But um, I think there's enough here for me to make 20 drawstring bags. And I was going to look around in my fabric see if I could make any more. But yeah, so... I usually after I make a bunch of quilted bags, I like to make a few updates of drawstring bags because they're so much easier. <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm, I'm going to chat. So the last video I put out was Watch Work on Wednesday. And then I was just busy on Thursday and didn't do anything. And then Friday we had uh, Earth Day. So we did go to the park. I did take a few clips. I might insert them. But um, it was really hot, so I didn't get to film as much as I wanted to. And surprisingly enough, there wasn't that much trash. We did pick up trash and we... You know, I talked about, to Jesse about what Earth Day was and how important it is to take care of the planet and all that stuff. <laughs> all that, you know, stuff. So we did hike a little and Jesse got to throw rocks in the water and stuff, you know. Uh, and we did pick up, I was counting it and then I lost count. <laughs> Less than 20 pieces of trash. I was surprised. <laughs> um, one of them was a mask, which was me to death that people just throw their used gross masks down on the ground. There was one water bottle and the rest of it was like candy wrappers and, um, stuff like that a little bit of glass we found a few pieces of glass and that was about it most and a lot of capri sun straw wrappers the clear plastic around the straws it just bugs me to death that people just throw their trash on the ground it's like put it in your pocket carry a bag with you like we do or um you know every park has trash cans utilize trash cans it's not that hard it bugs me to death but anyways so we did good jesse played for a little while on the playground there but it was super hot and um I was trying to make sure he drank enough water because his little face was red. He turns red and gets all sweaty really fast. So we did that. And then we, um, what else did we do? Oh, we went grocery shopping after that. <laughs> and then uh, Jesse did end up going to my mom's that evening, yesterday evening. It was late in the day. It's like 6 o'clock that we took him there. And because um, tonight, it's a Saturday, they're doing a planned power outage in my area. And we're part of it because we live here in town. So our, between midnight and 2 to 3 a.m., the power is going to be out. So I knew that would bug Jesse. June will probably sleep through it, and I'll probably will because I'll be exhausted. <laughs> but um, we did go to Walmart earlier. Me and Devin did, and we got this battery up. I did a fan. It takes six D batteries. But it also, you can put a plug in it, too, so we can use it everywhere else in the house when the power's on. <laughs> but it's just a little fan so that me and June don't burn up to death <laughs> tonight. It's been hot the last few days, and um, also, so there's a little bit of noise, you know, white noise. So, because Devin has to work tonight, Jesse's gonna be at my mom's because she's not in the same, she's not on the same power grid as we are, so her power won't get cut off. Uh, 
Um, so hopefully it doesn't take forever for them to fix the power because uh, I'm mostly worried that June's gonna wake up a lot more than she normally does because it's gonna be so quiet and you know the neighbor the neighbor above us she works during the nights so when she's off she's up during the night and she has a kid who is also on her schedule so they make a lot of noise at night when she's off is what I'm saying so if it's if they're if she's off tonight it's gonna be loud <laughs> but anyways uh, we'll survive so yeah um, today we did run to Walmart like I said we're at that fan. I got Jesse's birthday stuff since he's not here. So I got his presents wrapped and I got all the stuff for his, his little party. It's really just our family getting together every year. So I got some plates and forks and some decorations and some silly string because he wants silly string. Um, candles for his cake. I ordered his cake already. We're going to pick it up next Friday. Uh, and then next week we're, we were going to get pizza. But I'm thinking since it's just going to be a small amount of people, I might get a couple pizzas and then I might because Jesse loves McDonald's so much I might get go get a whole bunch of their chicken nuggets and french fries because I know him and my nephew would like that probably <laughs> I don't know I'll make up my mind next week because I'll get that next week and some drinks to take with us we're having it at my sister's house this year and it's not really a big event it's just uh getting together to eat together and celebrate him turning six I can't believe my baby's turning six it makes me so happy but sad at the same time and then the week after that, I'm turning 32. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, we got a lot of stuff coming up this next two weeks. Because this coming Wednesday is mine and Devin's wedding anniversary. Our fourth wedding anniversary. Gosh. Time flies. <laughs> um, we've been together for nine years, though. But, um, and then Sunday, this coming Sunday, is Jesse's birthday. May 1st. And then the next Saturday is my birthday. And then the next Sunday is Mother's Day. Devin has to work on our anniversary, my birthday, and Mother's Day. He's only off Jesse's birthday, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We probably won't do anything major for my birthday because we, we don't really do growing up birthdays. So, yeah. What else? Oh, yesterday, the reason, because I was going to make this mail video yesterday, but uh, June was laying on the floor on her little mat that we have. It's like a, it's like a Dock Tot, but it's not a Dock Tot brand. It's a different brand we got we got it from my mother-in-law <laughs> but we put it on it when she lays on the floor when she's awake just so she can watch tv or we change her diaper on it and stuff but anyways it's in the floor so she was laying on the floor Devin was sitting right beside her on the floor he had just changed her and jesse was in here he had a kinder egg which is like a chocolate egg with a toy on one side of it and he was cleaning he went to get the broom to clean up his mess from opening his kinder egg and he got the mop as well I don't know if maybe he got chocolate on the floor because I was I was sitting in the chair. I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. <laughs> and, um, but he was trying to sweep and he had the mop in one hand and the broom in the other hand sweeping. And he dropped the mop and it went and it hit Sissy right on her face. It hit part of her nose and right here, the handle of it. And of course she started freaking out and crying. Um, but she was fine. She didn't, you know, I, I pushed around on her when she calmed down. And she wasn't crying. Like, nothing was broken. Her nose did bleed just a little tiny bit, I guess, just from being hit. And she did have, like, a big swollen spot right here. But today it's already gone. Like, you can't even tell she's ever been hit in the face with a mop. <laughs> but poor Jesse felt bad. But we, you know, we made sure to let him know that it was an accident. And that he wasn't in trouble or nothing. And that there's going to be plenty of those. That him and Sissy are probably going to hurt each other a lot over the years by accident. But, um... So she was fine. She was cranky yesterday because she hurt. So I, I did give her some Tylenol to help her feel better. And we did end up, uh, after we dropped Jesse off, we went riding around to let her sleep in the truck. Um, but she was pretty cranky yesterday. But, you know, she got hit in the face with mop. So, <laughs> but uh, all is well today. She's been fine. And um, her little face already looks perfect. Like nothing's ever happened to it. So, yeah. So I'm going to go get Jesse in the morning probably. Or have Devin do it, because he works tonight, so he'll be coming through anyways. Um, yeah, and hopefully the power will be back on. Sometimes they say the power's going to be off for like three hours, and it's only off for an hour. Sometimes they say that, and it's off for like five hours. So I'm, I'm always worried about our food in the fridge and all that. But um, it'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. I got a fan, which was the important thing. I just need some noise, and so that we don't get super hot in there. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. I'm going to try to get this video up at some point today because I've been behind on everything. Uh, yeah, I got all the orders already mailed off. There are still three bags, I think, in the shop. And then I'm going to put these ones in the shop. And also, when I was at Hobby Lobby, I bought some of that clear vinyl stuff because I've always wanted to make bags 
with a clear front so that you can see what's in it. Um, my idea was project bags, but I might actually try first with notion pouches because it'd be easier working with something smaller. <laughs> uh, so like it'd have fabric back and liner on the back, but it would have a clear front so that you can see what's in the bag. I thought that would be cool. I don't know how. I'll have to try to figure out how to do that. <laughs> but, uh, so those might be coming up in shops eventually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I haven't had, had hardly any time to crochet. I finished my shrug. And I showed that to you guys. I ended up frogging the hat. Yeah, I just wasn't happy with it. The strawberry hat. It was a horribly written pattern. And it was horrible to work on it because it's such a small hook. And I realized, and someone actually mentioned that, that it's a small hook so that it's tighter stitches. But it's still just, it was, I didn't, I wasn't enjoying it, so I frogged it. Uh, I will find a different hat to make. <laughs> and I did start making an amigurumi um, yesterday, but I haven't got to finish it yet because of everything that happened and the kids and all that. So it's about halfway done. So I don't know. I just, I did a lot of crocheting in January, February, March, and then April. I haven't done hardly any crocheting. <laughs> so hopefully when June gets a little bit more where she can, um, you know, entertain herself by hitting toys or when she starts sitting up and can sit up and do stuff, I can get more stuff done. But I don't know. But yeah, so also I wanted to mention I'm going to start doing vlogs. Uh, try to do maybe a vlog a week because I am going to try to start getting healthier again. Um, I got my Fitbit on. <laughs> I, um, I'm not necessarily wanting to lose weight. Like that's not my goal is to be skinny or anything. But ever since I was eight months pregnant to now, my legs have been so sore. Like, every time I go to stand up or sit down, they hurt. Um, especially my knees. And I know it's because uh, of my weight, but also because of my lack of movement. Because, you know, I was pregnant, and then I had the baby, and now I'm just lazy, I guess. <laughs> but, so, I, I mean, Devin's been talking about it anyways, because he wants to try to be healthier, too, because of his, he has high blood pressure that's treated with medicine, so he wants to try to get that, like, in check. Um, so... We uh, are trying to eat better, and I just want to be more active because I really need to strengthen my legs because I guess I lost, um, from being pregnant and then sitting around with the baby, I've lost a lot of my strength in my legs, so I want to try to, um, you know, get that strength back. So, I'm going to start exercising. I'm going to try to. Probably be a lot of walking because of the baby. Uh, maybe squeezing little exercises in between her naps and stuff, and um, just try to eat better in general, <laughs> and see where that goes so I'm gonna update that like a weekly but I'm not gonna make like weight loss videos you know like because that's not my goal my goal is not to lose weight I'm sure I will lose weight if I'm eating better and exercising because you know that's, that's how that happens <laughs> but um my goal is to just be stronger and I just want to update y'all on that so that I can kind of have accountability like I did in 2020 when I was losing weight um and go from there. I will be tracking my weight though too because I have, I'm pretty much the exact same weight I was when I first started losing weight in 2020. I'm only a few ounces different. <laughs> it's like this is my default weight or something. But yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to talk a little bit, update you guys on all that stuff, show you the Happy Meal and the fabric because I'm going to be cutting it up. I did get a package from B fabric, but that was fabric I already made bags with. <laughs> I never did get to show it because um, I immediately started making bags with it. So, um, and I always appreciate when she, I'm assuming it's a she, sends me fabric because um, it's so helpful to be able to make bags with fabric that I don't have to buy because then that makes the profit higher, you know, so that it um, makes it easier for me to make more bags. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here. I'm trying to get this edited probably when Devin wakes up here in a little bit because when he wakes up, I got to cook dinner. I'm going to cook some chicken and I'm going to try cooking green beans in the air fryer and see how that turns out. Um, and hopefully they taste good. But yeah, so. I will see you guys hopefully soon in another video. What is today? Today's 23rd. So there's still like a week left of um, April. I haven't even looked at May to see what the holidays are coming up in May. Um, so I've just been so busy with the baby. Ooh. I feel like I say that all the time, but it's true. But yeah, so now I'm really going to hop off here. And I will see you guys in another video hopefully soon. And uh, all that jazz, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.